But let's not talk about Tucker Carlson. Let's just talk about a hypothetical person. All right? Let's call him Smucker Ralson. And if you're Smucker Ralson, and you go up and you promote this notion of an invasion, okay? And you, um, you promote this notion of Democrats just want uh, immigrants in because they're going to take over uh, the country uh, by replacing, basically, white people with brown people, and they're going to get all the votes. That is not what he was saying. He did say invasion, yes, but he's not talking about specifically white people. He's talking about replacing American culture with Hispanic culture. American culture has a mix of Hispanic culture within it now, but it's still vastly different from Hispanic cultures. I'm very sure he does not care about the fact that they're brown. He probably cares about the fact that they vote for more government control. Now, Tucker Carlson isn't the most, well, freedom-loving person, but he is more so than a lot of Democrats. I personally think he's more of a, I don't know, a corporatist or something, but he isn't a socialist, that's for sure. But that's besides the point. The whole thing is, he wasn't talking about brown people. He wasn't talking about the fact that they're brown. He was talking about the fact that they have different values than most Americans. Now, yes, they do happen to be brown, and most Americans do happen to be white, but they have different values. Their race is not what is important. The race does not make values. Your color of your skin does not make values. Your culture does. Hispanic culture is very different from American culture. Well, the, the common one, or the one that they have in common, of course, is uh, the ease in which people can get weapons that allow you to kill multiple human beings in um, less than a minute, right? The, the second shooter from Dayton um, uh, was dead within 30 seconds of shooting his first shot. But by that point, he had killed nine people and had uh, injured uh, a couple of dozen. So who cares? The whole point of having a gun like that is so that people, the citizens, have the same or similar weaponry to that of the military. It's to de-incentivize the government from taking complete control of their citizens, from killing their own citizens. It's a big disincentive. Because if suddenly the government wanted to start killing Americans, then they would have a big problem with Americans taking up their arms and defending themselves. That is the whole point of the Second Amendment, to defend themselves and their property from not only their fellow man, but also from the government. There are very few things in which I think the people should not be able to own to defend themselves. And those few things are things I also believe the government should not have either. And if you really are worried about the number of people who are dying in mass shootings, well, it's a very small percentage. Mass shootings only make up around 0.3% of all murders. More Americans die in car crashes or because of medical errors or because of obesity. And even if you really did want to take away all guns, you would still have problems with people using cars to commit murder or making bombs or committing mass murder by stabbing with a knife. Bad people are going to find ways to commit murder no matter what. Disarming citizens only helps those bad people. So taking away guns is counterintuitive. But the, and, and we don't really know what inspired uh, the, uh, the Dayton shooter. I don't know if we'll ever know for sure. But we do have a very, very good sense of what inspired, what drove the El Paso shooter to determine who he was going to shoot and, and, and why. Oh, dear God, you're such a f idiot. It is not Tucker Carlson's fault that this psycho decided to go out and kill people. So f you for trying to imply that. As I wrote yesterday, uh, you don't really need to read this guy's manifesto. If you turn on Fox News on a random weeknight, uh, there's a decent chance uh, that you will encounter these ideas, which are being spread night after night 
uh, to an audience of millions of people. This is really a mainstreaming of a very, as we've seen, dangerous uh, white nationalist, white supremacist ideas. Um, These aren't white nationalist or white supremacist ideas. These are regular American ideas. These are mainstream ideas. These aren't white nationalist or white supremacist or racist ideas. So go f yourself, you absolute The term invasion is a, it's a very specific one. And I mean, we even saw a clip, I think it was from May, right? Where the president was at a rally. <clears throat> I'm not sure where, I guess he was in the panhandle of Florida. And um, he specifically said there's an invasion. Well, there's an invasion in other countries. They can shoot them, but we can't do that. So what can we do? And someone yelled out, we can shoot him. And he said, ah, you can only get away with that uh, here in the panhandle. It was a joke, you moron. And, I mean, that person called out, we can shoot them, because that is really, I mean, that's what you do when you're being invaded, right? I mean, this is, that, there's a reason why they use the term invaded, um, and it's not, you know, I mean, that that's what they're trying to elicit, right? This this notion of you should be afraid and you should fight back. That is not what they're saying. And I'm pretty sure the guy was joking. It may be a very poor choice of words, but that does not mean they were trying to incite violence. That's it for this video. If you liked it, please give it a like, subscribe, share it, comment down below and tell me what you thought. If you really liked it, support my content and... I'll see y'all later. We bop and flippity hop. And as happy as I can be.